Hey, it's Kat here. I thought I would jump straight into it today. Really excited because we're gonna be making this beautiful crochet card holder. Who doesn't need a card holder in their life? And you can make one yourself very cheaply. This is a ball of Rico Rumi yarn. That's all you need. In the UK, they're about a pound and a four millimeter hook. I've also got this little star charm that I would like to put into the middle. So here we go. Start off with a slip knot. So I'm gonna just make a circle and then pull that tail through the middle of the circle. Pull tight and I have my slip knot. Then I'm gonna put my hook in and then pull that up to the hook. I'm gonna lay my yarn across the three fingers on my left hand, round that one and then say hi, hello, my index finger and then hold my work with my middle finger and my thumb. Okay, so my work at the moment is just one little knot here, but that will grow as you'll see, okay? So I'm just gonna chain 15. So I'm gonna yarn over and pull through. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. And now we are going to single crochet. We're gonna go back on ourselves and this is gonna be our first round. We're gonna go back on ourselves. We're gonna, in the second chain from the hook. So you're gonna have, your stitch consists of like a, a V shape. And then in the middle, it has this piece of yarn going across. And we're gonna go through underneath that. Okay. Pull up and then pull through those two. So that's one, oops. That's one. And then that will ensure we have no gaps at the bottom of our card holder. And then go through and do this all the way along to the end. So on this side we'll single crochet 13. Three. Four, five, Seven, eight, Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so in that end stitch, we have one stitch left here. Okay, so we're gonna single crochet in this end stitch, we're gonna single crochet two in this stitch. So that's fourteen. Oops. and 15. So 
So you should have something that looks like this. And that's the bottom of your card holder. Now we're gonna carry on going all the way around. So in the next stitch, so where you've just gone, you then wanna carry on into the next stitch. So you're gonna be doing down this side, you're gonna be doing 13 single crochet. And then if you can, you wanna kind of take this tail and hide it in these stitches. So hold that close. Oops. 15, 16. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, And then if you want to, if that tail is quite long, you can just, just snip that tail off. And then that will get lost in your work. Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way to the end. last little one there so we now have 28 stitches and we're just going to put two at the end so we're going to end up with 30 stitches so right in this little end bit one so we've got 29 so the last one we're going to put into here and then we're going to slip stitch into this first stitch. All right, and this is the base of our card holder. Round one is complete and it's 30 stitches in total. It should be 13 on each side and then there's two at each end. All right, and now all I'm going to do is chain one. And then carry on round. I'm going to, this is all single crochet, so it should be dead easy for you. Now you've set your foundation, you will be able to single crochet in every stitch around. We'll do our first stitch. So I've chained one, I'm gonna go in. So that's one single crochet. I'm just going to mark where that stitch is in here. Okay, I've got my stitch marker here and I'm going to mark the first stitch around two. If you don't have a gem or a charm, you can just go ahead and crochet rounds two to nine, and then I'll show you how to finish off your project. I'm gonna single crochet up to six or seven, and then we'll see where we are. So you wanna keep on going round like this. So single crochet again. This is all you need to do on repeat until you essentially have a card holder. It's actually quite easy when you get into it. And we're going to do a bit of shaping because this is the side. So when you get to the end, you'll see it's a little bit trickier to do these stitches. The other one. Okay, 
and then we're going to kind of shape it like that, like a little boat. And then oh. and when you've done the end stitches, you'll be able to see that there's like a it will form a corner. So we're just doing those last two stitches here. And this number should always be 30. Because remember you've got 13 on each side and then you've got two at each end. If you have a little tail, you can just trim it. Because that's not going anywhere. Okay. So now I've done my 30, I'm going to take the stitch marker off. And I'm going to put another single crochet into there without chaining or anything like that. So we should have the basis of the bottom of the card holder. There we go. So we've, that's the first single crochet in round three. So rounds two, like I said, rounds two to nine are all the same. And that is, show you, it should, there we go. That will fit nicely in there. And you've got a bit of wiggle room, so if you have loads of cards, then I got you. I'm gonna just start this off and then I'll meet you back when you've done about six or seven rounds if you wanna do your star. And then we'll see where we are. So we'll just single crochet all the way around. I think what I'll do, I've done that one, so I'm gonna, I will put the stitch marker on each time, but you can use a hair clip, you can just count if you like. You will always have 30 stitches around the top. This stitch marker is giant. I'm going to just take matters in, into my own hands. I'm going to take a little piece of my yellow and pop it on. There we go. Just made a little knot. going to make a knot that is very close to this star as as close as you can all right excellent that was as good as we can get right so we're going to miss out i'm just underneath the star of the stitch here we're going to miss it Miss it out completely because then that will leave room for your star and then you're going to go straight into this next stitch here. I'm as in. Right. That's wicked. I love that. You need to rejoin your yarn. probably the best and most secure way especially with this type of yarn it's not going to be going anywhere once you tie a knot with cotton it's pretty stable just chop that there we are we've done our star and we are going to pick up where we left off which is just carry on single crocheting all the way around if your if your charm gets a little bit if it moves in any way don't worry because you can move it back 
if you wanted to you could just tie on that star at the end you can tie it on but I would say it's more seamless this way and I wanted the star to be really incorporated into the project rather than just like an add-on. Where the star is we obviously need to make up the material so we're going to chain one kind of behind the star You will chain one okay so you've just done one single crochet and now you're going to chain one so you're going to go behind the star you're going to go into the next stitch that's a single crochet so chain one single crochet and then you can pop the star back where it was all right we're going to carry on around Right, this is looking so cute. So, round eight, 30 stitches, as you have been doing before. We've done round eight. Let's have a look at our card. This is my... <laughs> My library card. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm not even gonna use that. We've done round eight, we're gonna do round nine. Right. Oh my God, I love this so much. Okay, so we're gonna do one more round. Then we will finish off with a round of slip stitches, which are really easy as well. So I'll show you how to do those. You can even add a tassel. Now we've finished round nine, we're gonna do a round of slip stitches. So when you're doing your slip stitches, it's easy for the top of this to get smaller. And you don't really want that because you won't be able to get your cards in. So you've done rounds two to nine, and now you're gonna start on round 10, which is gonna be all slip stitches. I'll show you how. You're going to go in as you would with your single crochet pull through and then instead of pulling through these two you're going to pull straight through to the next one okay and do the same again pull through three pull through three pull through three and pull through three slip stitches around the top there we go okay we can now remove our stitch marker right so now when you cast off you want to do that basically <laughs> so you're just gonna chop there are so many different tassels you can do I'm just gonna do a simple tassel take the cotton and lay it over the three fingers of your hand and then wrap around, I would say about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 times, let's do that. And then we are going to take this end and then we're going to do a knot do a little knot here at the top oh my god this is going to be really pretty and that end now you can go it can go into your tassel you are going to chop the other end where the end of your tassel finishes and that one Ta -da! and now I'm gonna chop love that okay we are going to make sure these all 
look pretty and are lined up nicely. The last part of our tassel is going to be to just tie that bit on. So lay a piece of yarn down and then pop your tassel over like, like this and then tie. There we go. Okay, tassel complete. Now you know what you've got to do, don't you? I'm going to get my proper scissors. I'm going to get the Fiskars scissors. This is where it all comes together. Make sure this is all nice and neat. You're going to have one sticking up because that's where the knot went. So you can either trim it there or you can tuck it back down that down there we go if you got value from this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already I bring out videos like this all the time and I would love you to be part of the community. If you need the pattern for this as well, then it will be available on catkimble.com. If you'd like to make a bag that is all single crochet, like this project is, then this is the video for you. I'll see you there.